Welcome back. We had a change in the schedule. I'm going to fill in for Tanil with this, and we're going to speak with Laura, the librarian. Good morning. Good morning. Here to uh, talk to us about some programs. Um, you've got a summer kickoff happening? I do. Um, each year, the library has a summer reading program, and this year, our summer reading program runs from June 16th until July 19th. It's called Pause to Read, and it's all about animals. Oh, okay. And so our kickoff will be th this uh, coming Saturday, actually a week from Saturday on the 21st from 11 to 1, and we're going to have the kickoff in a parking lot in between True Value Hardware and the library. Perfect. We have all sorts of interesting events going on that day. We'll have a face painter. We have ice cream from Umqua Bank. We have a friend's table. We have other activities for the children, so it's a great time for them to come and sign up for the program. What a good idea, too, to put um, a subject that kids would want to read about, like Animal. Dogs or animals yes. or cats or what they like, yes. and to, to introduce that is what the uh, the subject is to read mm -hmm. about, and they're already interested in, the, in it. So, and it, the whole point of summer reading is to uh, um, have the children continue reading during the summer, so they don't lose their ability to read over over the summer. And studies have shown that children that do continue reading during the summer when school is out have a better chance of staying in school and doing well in school. Right. So it's really important um, and it's important that if um, families do have the time that they can have their children come to the library for this program. Right. We do have a really um, neat uh, program too for kids and it's going to be starting on uh, Wednesday, or yes, Wednesday, and then again on July 3rd. Act I'm sorry, it's Thursday, next Thursday, and then again on July 3rd. And it's also called Pause to Read, and this has doggies that will be coming to the library. Oh. One is named Allie, the other one is named Joaquin, and children can sign up to read to them, and it's from 10.30 to 11.30. We do still have a couple of slots left okay. for the uh, Thursday next week, and we do have a, a fair number of them left open for uh, July 3rd. How would somebody sign up for those programs? They can come to the into the uh, main library in Jackson or they can give us a call and we can sign them up. Okay. Uh, the library uh, is probably evolved over the years. Um, I would imagine now you have uh, computers. We do. And the internet. We do. Um, we also have downloadable e-books okay. and audiobooks and a lot of other things. And it isn't just about anymore. It's about community right. and other kinds of things that take place at the library. And we do spend a lot of time assisting folks to learn uh, digital skills and to help them with applying for work online. Oh. Also, um, doing kinds of applications, not only online, but in person as well. Right, and I would imagine that. some of the companies today want you to apply online, and maybe some of our um, uh, senior residents of the county aren't really familiar with using the computer. That's true. It isn't just seniors. It, we do see other people of all age groups that um, they might know a little bit about a computer, but don't feel confident enough to really be able to do an application online. And so right. we do have staff that are available um, to assist them with that. Great. I, I would imagine that being quiet in the library still still applies. <laughs> um, to a certain extent. <laughs> I mean, yes, we do like to keep it somewhat quiet so other people who are studying and trying sure. to get work done are able to do so. <laughs> I was that guy. <laughs> so uh, you have a, a number of branches throughout the county. We do. We have the main library here in Jackson, and then we have a branch in Ione, one in Plymouth, and two upcountry, one in Pioneer and one in Pine Grove. Great. Seems we we also have um, another program that I thought, I, if I have a little bit of time, I could mention. Go for it. Uh, we have four little libraries, and they were part of a grant that uh, we received through, um, the, the grant was distributed through the State Library of California, and um, it was um, coming through the Institute of Museum and Library Services. The grant provided $5,000 for us to put together and deploy four little libraries. One is in River Pines, one is in Lake Comanche at the fire station, uh, one is upcountry at the IGA and Pioneer, and the fourth one is at the Volcano Union Inn. Well, a lot of stuff going on with mm -hmm. the library. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, you, you, you talked about, uh, I believe briefly, the Friends of the Amber County Library, mm -hmm. which is a group that uh, raises money for the library. Yes. And they 
often have book sales, maybe a couple times a year? Yes. The next book sale is coming up in October, and I don't have the exact date, but okay. uh, if you go online to the Friends of Amador County Library, um, they do have a website, and they list all their events and um, upcoming dates and so forth on their site. And people donate books to the library, then yes. the library sells them? Yes. And that's one of the things that I like about a some there are certain things you can buy that have been used before and a book always contains the content and, and it's never gonna never gonna go bad or you know it's not gonna break or you know it's, it's something that you can generation of it can be handed down and the same book can give uh, a wealth of knowledge for a number of people that's true that's very true great speaking with laura here you're a you're not you're a librarian yes yeah. what well, is there a, does it take a certain level of skill or to be a librarian or is it just a, a position that you're in charge or how, what is the librarian well librarian I, I do have a degree okay. in library science um so when you talk about uh, librarians m most people when they think of people that work at a library they call everyone a librarian but in actuality librarian really does have a degree some um but on top of that, I mean, I have people that have worked at the library for many, many years and have certainly all the skills that a librarian with a degree has as well. So. The studio is speaking with us. And uh, let's give up the phone number possibly to the main branch. 209-223-6400. Give them a call. They can uh, direct you to the other branches or uh, answer your questions right there. You can also find us online. Okay. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. We're going to switch it to the bumper, and we're going to switch over to Corinne Moore. I'll be there in one second. Check out our new website upgrade. Now, news on demand. Streaming video, a TV set on your desktop. Friendly program guide, and meet the people making the news with our on-demand news interviews. Let us know what you think. It's where you live. It's TSPNTV.com. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSP.